Congratulations to all of you. I've been here long enough now to where seniors were children when I uh, started serving as pastor here. And so it's always an interesting time when you really see uh, young men and women grow up in the church. And I've certainly enjoyed seeing each of you grow uh, in faith. Uh, and you do indeed have compassion and a servant heart. Freedom. That was probably the word that best described my emotions when I graduated from high school. Freedom. I'm going to have freedom. Freedom from school as I had always known it. Freedom from early curfews. Freedom from parents, unless I needed them for money or other stuff. Freedom to embrace the world. What I would soon realize, however, was that freedom also brings daily decisions that I now had to make. I had to decide to get up on time. I had to decide whether to go to the party or not go to the party. I had to decide what was right and wrong. And suddenly, I missed having someone to either make a decision for me or at least strongly encourage certain paths or certain decisions. But I also began to realize that all the lessons I had been taught in school, all the lessons at home, on the ball field, all the lessons at church had helped prepare me for this freedom and for making decisions. In the 14th chapter of John, the verses that Anna just read, Jesus is in essence encouraging the disciples as he prepares them to go out on their own, as he prepares them to carry forth the message to continue their journey. And one of the encouraging words that he gives them is that he will send them a helper, an advocate to guide them. And this helper that he promises them is the Holy Spirit. We celebrate Pentecost today. We celebrate the Holy Spirit that abides in us, that is given to us through the resurrected Christ. The Holy Spirit, Jesus says, is the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth. It is the voice of truth that speaks to our souls. The gut feeling. The soul searching. The sense within us of what is right and wrong, even if we can't put our finger on it. The word for Holy Spirit is parakletos, which means called in. So Jesus is telling the disciples, I'm going to call in the Holy Spirit for you. I'm going to call in a helper, an advocate to help you, to guide you, to advocate for you, to correct you and to protect you mostly from yourselves. And that's what Jesus does for us. He calls in the Holy Spirit to strengthen us and guide us and encourage us to give us that gut feeling to help us know which decision is right. My prayer, our prayer for all of you is that you know the Holy Spirit is there for you. And that you call upon this. That you allow it to be called into your life as you experience this freedom. Through Christ we have been given a gift, a helper, that enables us to see more than what meets the eye. 
Jesus says, the world will not see nor acknowledge the Spirit, but you know it's there. In other words, the Spirit will help you see more than what the world tells you or tries to sell you. You will see more. You talked about your majors. And once you receive that training, you will see more. You will have a greater understanding of that area than those who do not have that training. You will know more about theater than those who don't take theater. You'll watch it differently. Man, I'm so excited you're doing philosophy and comparative religion. Can't wait to have conversations. You'll know more. Musicians know more about music than what we hear. And when the Holy Spirit abides in us and you apply your faith, you will see more than what's right before us. And that helps you make decisions. Here's the catch, though. God gives us freedom to call in the Spirit, to embrace this gift and this truth. This church, your parents, Tiffany, Becca, Ryan, they've all planted the seeds. They have prayed the prayers. We have preached the sermons. We have loved you and given you this gift of faith, this spirit of truth. But you must make it your own. You must do that. You must call it in. Jesus promises not to leave us as orphans. He is always with us. Just as your parents will always be there and they will hope that you will call them and ask them for advice. But you've got to make the call. You've got to call it in. As much as we pray for you, you have to do that. That's the truth. But our prayer will always be that you will claim it for your own. Amen.